The first thing I did this morning was make a timetable. I wanted to have a really productive study day today. I had a lot of things to get done because I have quite a few deadlines next week. So I thought this was the most efficient way to actually use my time. So the first thing I was doing was reading the rest of The English More, which is the play that we were reading this week for theatricals. So I read Act 1 yesterday, but there are five acts in the play, and I think Act 1 was probably the shortest. This was the main thing I needed to do this morning, and this took me just under two hours. I did this from 10 to 11.45. Then I moved on to doing some critical reading. So I read two critical essays every week for theatricals and I actually had a 55 page article to read this time. I mean, I really like doing critical reading, but also 55 pages is a lot. I annotated this on my iPad. In total, I was reading articles from 11.45 to 12.30. So during my lunch break, I actually had to call my bank because there was a problem with my account. Thankfully, this didn't take very long because it was an urgent inquiry, which meant that they bumped me to the top of the queue. Next I moved on to doing my portfolio task, so 40% of our grade 4 theatricals is portfolio and this week we had to choose from three extracts and write a critical in-depth analysis of one of the scenes. So here I annotated the scene on my iPad, I wrote up an essay plan and then I actually wrote up the 500 word. This didn't actually take me that long. I was doing this from 1.20 to 3.50. And as you can see, by the time I'd finished, it was pretty dark. So next, because I'm doing NaNoWriMo, I wrote some of my book. I have not been doing NaNoWriMo properly. I have not managed to write 1,600 words every day. Today, I just wrote 500 words and I did this from 3.50 to 4.20. So next I went downstairs to cut down my essays. I just printed them out and then went through and cut through things. Um, I did this for both my Empire of Liberty summative assessment and also the portfolio task I just wrote. And I was just studying with my sister at this time. I was working on this essay from 4.20 to 6.50.
I quickly applied some of the research I'd done for a presentation, like just put it all in this document. And then I spent some time stressing over the fact that I couldn't get hold of the book that we needed to read for Empire of Liberty next week. I buy all of my books on Kindle and annotate and read them on there just because I find it easier, but the book we had to read isn't available on Kindle. And so I'm trying to find a way to read the book in time because if I ordered it it wouldn't arrive in time so I was kind of stressing about that um, I managed to find a solution in the end I was stressing about this book from 7.25 to 7.55 at 8 o'clock I had a call Rach who is from my management 16th is very sadly leaving and so we did a kind of leaving drinks virtual call with uh, nine of us and it was so so wonderful to catch up I really enjoyed it and I was on this call from eight o'clock to eleven o'clock so now we are moving on to Sunday Sunday I do not tend to do a lot of work I like to put Sunday afternoons aside from work um, and I don't let myself study So first thing I did was schedule a live study with me because I wanted to do a live study with me this morning. And then I moved on to working on that Dickinson essay again. So I did some extra research. I proofread it, cut it down. I just worked on that. A quick way. <laughs> and I was doing that from 9.50 till 11 o'clock. Then I went through my portfolio task again and I did extra bits of research I needed to do. I worked on the portfolio task from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock and then I actually submitted it, which I was very happy about. Definitely took a weight off my shoulders. And that's all of the work that I did this weekend. I managed to tick off some really big things that I've been meaning to tick off. Here's the timetable sheet of everything I did. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have a productive week.